This video shows the different ways that Andy gets to work, depending on whether it's dry or it's wet. And we're asked to find the chance that the weather is wet and Andy goes by bus. Now on this tree diagram, wet and then by bus is that route through the tree diagram. So the chance of it being wet and Andy goes by bus equals 0.4 times by 0.7. So we times together the two probabilities. And that gives an answer of 0 0.28. This symbol here means and. And I've abbreviated dry, wet, walk, bike and bus using these shorthand abbreviations. Now part two asks for the chance that Andy walks or travels by bike. Now, if we look down our tree diagram, that's walks, that's bike, that's walk, and that's bike. So we've got to find out each of these four options and then add them together. So we've got 0 0.6 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 plus 0.4 times 0.1. Just be on the safe side, we use a calculator, 0 0.6 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 plus 0.4 times 0 0.1, which gives an answer of 0 0.66. And that's the chance that Andy walks or travels by bike. And that simply means or. Okay, now the final part of the question is a conditional question. The question says, what's the chance the weather is dry, which is D, given that Andy walks or travels by bike? Now the formula for this is the chance it is dry and he walks or takes a bike all over the chance that he walks or takes a bike. Now this is not as confusing as it might appear because dry and walks or bike just corresponds to the options where it's dry and he walks or takes a bike. So the top is just dry and walks or dry and bike. So the top is just 0.6 times 0 0.5. It's that option or it's that option. So dry and walks or dry and bike. All divided by walks or bike. And that was the calculation from part two which is 0 0.66. So I just enter that into my calculator. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.54. So it's 0 0.54 over 0 0.66, which is 0 0.82 to 2 dp.